welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Jules Pfeiffer is a Renaissance man who has worked in every genre as a master, not a dilettante. He is an Obie Award-winning playwright. He's an Academy Award-winning screenwriter. He is a Pulitzer Prize-winning cartoonist. And he went on to win an Academy Award for carnal knowledge as a screenwriter. Now he's, at 85, broken into the supposedly youthful new genre of graphic novels. Kill My Mother, his graphic novel, is inspired by film noir. Pfeiffer is also an award-winning children's book author, and one of his newest books is Rupert Can Dance. As with most things I do, it's an accident of timing, and since I have no sense of timing, it's pure accident. For years, I've, I've had what I call a system of avoidances, working on two or three things at the same time. And they're different things, and they're different at it, and they're all the different areas I love. Rupert Can Dance preceded Kill My Mother, the graphic novel, by some years, but I could not make my editor happy with the, the, the dummy I came up with, the story I came up. He loved the idea. I do dummy after dummy into dummy while working on Kill My Mother. Finally, he got something that he loved. It went to a publisher, the publisher loved it, so what it, and it turned out that I had to do finished books at the same time. In fact, it was a great relief to stop Kill My Mother and to go to Rupert Can Dance because one thing was just plain, dancing. Inspired to draw by the comic strips of his youth, Jules Pfeiffer considers himself a very late bloomer. Since my first love in comic strips when I was a kid, at the age of six, seven, and eight, were the adventure strips in the newspapers. All of those things inspired me, and I, but I, and I wanted to be those guys. I didn't have the skill. Somehow at 80, I, did, I discovered that I developed a skill, or, the, or a skill that made me be able to fake it as if I looked like those guys. And I'm taking full advantage of that. As you flip through the book, Kill My Mother, the images have a frantic and energetic feel. I want the reader to think that the page they're looking at was finished five minutes ago. You know, first of all, I write it out and it all gets typed up. And then as I transfer that, the type script to a rough page to, to do a layout, and then for no reason I understand, once I've got a layout I like a lot, I try to, to finish page and it changes completely. And whatever I had in the rough doesn't go on, I do something else. And I just trust my instincts. By trusting his instincts, Jules Pfeiffer has built a legion of followers. He's, uh, he's something of an icon, you know, when I, when I was bumming around the village when uh, I was in school, um, it was great to just buy a Village Voice at that time. You had to buy him and uh, and see his cartoons there. It's just it's that twist, mixture of, of fun and sarcasm and wit, you know, all wrapped into one. That was really kind of the essence of his cartoons. I played with around with a fat cat, a skinny cat, a long cat, a thin cat. You know, and and I gave the cat dance steps. One of the things I really liked is the illustration of the cat for Rupert Can Dance. I know he said he didn't model it after a cat, but it looks like my cat, except it has dancing shoes on. It's a departure from some of his stick figures. Pfeiffer attributes his recent surge in creative energy to living life on Long Island. It's one of the principal reasons for moving out here, meaning the east end of Long Island, was because the Upper West Side of New York became impossible for a man, or for this man of my years, to function. I used to walk miles, I, you know, I can't walk a block anymore without having to stop five times. So all of the things that made the city exciting and made it worthwhile now stood there to tell me what a schmuck I was and how old I was and how broken down I was. And I found in the first couple of years out here, I tripled my output and started working again the way I hadn't in years. And in terms of my working self, I'm a teenager again. With so much great work to his name, does Pfeiffer have a special project he's proud of? No, but someday I'll do something I'm proud of. 